And where, uh, this is my little motto, wherever you feed the most, who is going to be in charge? Amen. So it takes in that, amen, not only you, the Holy Spirit, but continue to feed myself in the Word of God to stay up where I will not fall, where I, not, where I will not go off, I will not lose my cool. And I won't, I won't sit, you follow me? Amen. amen. What we do is we get set free, but don't feed ourselves. Amen. We fall right back in the same rut. Let me tell you what the Holy Spirit told me uh, just, just last night. Amen. I was in Richmond on a two-day conference uh, for a board leadership. And the Spirit of the Lord said, guard your heart. He just said, guard your heart. Why are you there? Guard your heart. And we don't get our hearts. We let anything and everything come in. We watch anything. We go anywhere. We hang around the wrong people we should be hanging around that we know are not good for us. And I don't mean just, I don't mean out in the world. I mean just folk that might, you know what I'm trying to say? We take it to the extreme of, uh, you know, drinking and smoking. And, I mean, just someone that you know is a gossiper. Why are you hanging with them? You know they gossip. That's your weakness. Don't be around them. Hmm? You know you watch sports too much. It drains you. spirituality. you Cut the TV off. Hmm? You know you go home and you eat and sleepy. Don't eat yet. Study first. You follow me? So we, we got to feed ourselves. Once we stay fed, guess what? We don't have to go up on Sunday and get blessed and down the valley during the week and up again on next Sunday. Because it's only a yo-yo. Exactly. It's a yo-yo. Up and down. Up and down. Wouldn't it be just wonderful to live just a consistent life? Amen. Just, I mean, follow me here. Now I'm done. Not just for a month or years. Let's just try living it for one week. Let's just try the week thing. Let's come and get our, our, our blessing on Sunday. And from Monday on, just keep ourselves fed all week long. And on that next Sunday, you'll be on a higher level. Amen. Amen. God bless you tonight. Amen. Hope you've learned something about the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Is it an it? No. no. It's a person. Does it grieve? Yes. Does it have feelings? Yes. Does it do works? Yes. A Amen. 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 So when you get up tomorrow, say good morning, Holy Spirit. I do. I do it right now. That's amazing. I say good morning, Holy Spirit. He's right there with you. Amen. He's a paraclete. We, don't y'all, how many of y'all just pray to God? How many of y'all tell the Holy Spirit, thank you? Or, or you say, good morning, Holy Spirit. <laughs> we like, God, Jesus. That's true, that's supposed to be. But he, what about him? Poor little Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> he gets left out, doing the work down here. He's a person too. And, and uh, that's comical, but this is the power behind it. Once you begin to embrace him, of who he really is, he begins to reveal himself to you Amen. in a powerful way that will blow your mind. Amen. God bless you tonight. Did you learn something tonight? Amen. 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 Amen.